guys, it's 9:10, and we have finally got the last of the strips laid down on the boat for half an ama hull. We've been kind of battling the ash from the fires, and we got the one fire just about 11, 12 miles away, but they've got it downgraded right now to level one. And I've had Sarah and I both have had time off from work just due to the fact that. Uh, air quality was so poor and that our jobs we just haven't had anything to do so we got in here and we knocked out the last few strips so today it'll set and dry and we'll be able to shave down this side and Kurt Hughes sent us the patterns for the bulkheads that go in it so we'll be able to start prepping those and get them cut out and here in uh, two weeks we'll order some fiberglass and resin and we'll get ready to fiberglass the inside of this uh, ama hull and lay in the bulkheads and pop it off the mold. So here in about another 45 days you ought to see a good combination video of us laying in the fiberglass and getting the bulkhead work in and yanking this one off the mold and then starting the other half of the hull. Go to Target, Walmart, get yourself one of the little swimming noodles and get the small one, the two inch, and use it with the sticky back sanding disc. We use the uh, adhesive style sanding disc, five inch sanding disc on it, and we just attach it to the uh, noodle. And because the noodle is so flexible, it allows us to, to really work on raised surface areas, but the biggest advantage to it is being able to work in tight radiuses, uh, sanding out the inside of this ama hull. So it works out incredibly well for getting into this really tight radius where the side of the deck, the side of the hull comes up to the deck and uh, we're able to get in there and, and sand out and smooth the surface enough that uh, it's prepped for the fiberglass. Okay, so we made our patterns. What we did was we picked up rolls of packaging paper from Office Depot and we traced the patterns out using carbon copy paper onto this and we cut these patterns out because we wanted to try to use as much of the sheeting as we could and get everything out of two sheets. And as you can see, we managed to figure out the puzzle. So now we have everything cut out of two six pound sheets for all the AMA bulkheads. We took and laid the patterns out. We managed to get four pieces on one and four pieces on the other. And then we took spray paint sprayed it around the edges of the pattern just dusting it so that you can see the outline and keep in mind that these have to be fit after you get fiberglass on the inside of each ama hole 
So you are going to be doing even more brushing and trimming on these a little bit just to get everything to fit right. So these rough outlines are perfect. We cut them out. And then after we get the fiberglass installed on the inside of the hull, these have to get laminated front and back with fiberglass. Well guys, it's close to midnight on September the 14th and we have gotten everything sanded out. All the rough cuts on the bulkheads are done. And we just set them in place based roughly on the images from the plans. I haven't done the measurements yet. Um, once we get everything measured out, We'll get these things set to where we know where they're supposed to be and we'll get everything marked and then uh, here before too long we'll have the other small pieces that go in because our design is the demountable version. So this trimaran can fit in a 53 foot container and you can ship it anywhere in the world. You can be able to break this whole thing down and put it in one container and ship it anywhere if you needed to. So right now we've got everything set up and we are in a holding pattern to get the uh, rest of the fiberglass and resin in so that we can get this one finished up and popped off the mold. Seeing a piece come off of a mold is pretty impressive so you'll have that imagery here before too long and uh, it'll give you guys an idea of just how big one 36 foot ama is. We got a lot for you guys, and we really appreciate you following us and uh, subscribing to our links. It's uh, not every day that you actually get to see some construction stuff uh, for Kurt Hughes boats. So, a big thumbs up to Kurt Hughes. His designs are amazing, and they're really, really nice and very applicable, and they are well worth the build. So, I recommend if you're looking for a multi hole to hit up Kurt Hughes Sailing Designs based out of Seattle, Washington. He's got some pretty impressive work. Until then, take care guys and we'll talk to you later.